we are showing you our five favorite coffee shops in Nairobi. So stick around to see them all. And if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to keep up with all of our adventures in Kenya and wherever we decide to go next. Sausages if you eat meat and honey and dough do a vegan option. It's really good that it comes with jam and peanut butter too, which is a, a thoughtful touch. Welcome to Boho Eatery, the next and my favorite coffee shop on our list. One thing I really love about this place is that the owner, I think it was the owner, when she was in London or living in London, noticed that all of the markets that had lots of like delicious vegetables and fruits and whatever, all of the freshest ones were always from Kenya. So when they opened this place, they thought, why not support one of the places that makes the best fruits and vegetables and get everything locally sourced? So some of the things that we absolutely love about Boho Eatery is one, that the seating is amazing. They've got this really cool inside seating area, but outside is the real best. They've got seats that'll swings, and it's just beautiful when it's sunny to sit outside. Another thing that we really like is while on the expensive end of things, the food here is to die for. vegetarian and vegan so it's so many good delicious options and as a coffee shop the coffee is on point the seating area is comfortable it's really excellent Welcome to Tin Roof Cafe, a beautiful quiet spot located in Karen, just across from the hub. This cafe opened in 2013 because the owners noticed that there was a lack of green space to go hang out with your friends and your family. So they opened Tin Roof Cafe, which is in a garden. There's actually two locations. Right now we are in the one in Karen. The other one is 
also in Karen, but I'm not sure where. It's a really amazing place here. Not only is the coffee really good, the ambiance really good, but it's also environmentally conscious. So all the furniture here is upcycled, all of their takeaway stuff is 100% recyclable, and um, all the produce they use in their meals are locally grown. <laughs> So highly recommend it, put it on your list and come check it out. This next cafe is in Lavington, which is a super cute neighborhood near the center of Nairobi. Welcome to Palette Cafe. What makes this place unique is that all of the seating is outside, which as you can tell is something we really value. And it actually doubles as a co-working. Let us show you what it's like. We didn't know this the first time we came here, but this cafe does something that's really, truly amazing. They employ disabled people, specifically those with hearing disabilities, and they provide them with employment and training. So it's a very inclusive community. It's really a special thing here in Nairobi. That's it for Palette Cafe. Overall, it's an awesome experience. Sitting outside is really, really great. They have reliable Wi-Fi, but when there's too many people here, you actually can't connect, so that's something to consider. If it's too full, you might not get a spot. And also, try and get a table with a plug. So what we recommend getting is the Malindi Chai Latte, which is really delicious, and the cappuccino. They do have vegan alternative milk, so we tried the soy milk and it was awesome. And then if you feel like having something to eat, but you don't want to spend too much, and you're not too hungry, get the Avo Toast as well as the Samosas. They're both 500, 500 shillings and really delicious. The last coffee shop on the list is the Social House. Well, actually, it's the living room, which is the coffee shop inside of the social house. The social house is a hotel situated in Lavington in Nairobi. It's got four restaurants inside. It's got the living room, which is the coffee shop. It's got the other room, which is this like outside loungy type of like daytime restaurant. Then it's got the Peruvian restaurant upstairs and it's got a steakhouse downstairs. So it's like packed with lots of things to do. And I think last year they won some sort of UK design award for their room. So you can really tell that a lot of attention to detail has been put into their design. The only downside is we couldn't do any forming inside because of security reasons. So you're gonna have to take our word for it this time. So highly, highly recommend The Social House. Sorry there's no footage, but believe me, it's worth going to see and worth trying the coffee. So that's it for this week's video on our top five coffee shops in Nairobi. Let us know if we missed anything down in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. See you next week.